So, uh, what's going on? Very impromptu live stream. Do I even have my mic on? Yeah, I do. But yeah, what's going on, guys? Make sure I got my audio on. Can y'all hear me? How's the, uh, how's the audio? How's the, uh, background music? Let's see who's in the house. Alpha Prime EDC, first in the house. How's it going? Chris McCritter, what's up, man? I am the OB. How's it going? Let's see. Michael Burton, what's up, man? EDC Knife and Tool, how's it going? Ian is in the house. Loud and clear? Nice. Great. Yeah, I, I, had, I was not planning to get on live today. Uh, you can ask Brad and uh, Ian. I was just talking in a group chat. I got a, I got a mail call, and I'll, I haven't had time to make any kind of content because of work and whatnot. Uh, but I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should just do it live because <laughs> I don't have the energy to uh, to make a video right now and do all the editing. <clears throat> so yeah, why not come on live? But uh, what did I carry today? What was y'all? What was y'all's uh, EDC? I carried the uh, the Riot XOM, which I think I left downstairs. Yeah, I left that downstairs, as well as a big idea to design a mini bolt action pin, which is also downstairs. What did y'all carry today? Oh yeah, I am drinking. Of course, I drink pretty much every night. I need I need to give my liver uh, a little break. I think. What I am drinking right now is some um, Eagle Rare. Good stuff. Let's see. Gro Grokusuma is in the house. Michael Barnes said, the Cherry Lemon Ghost is phenomenal. Gave one try the other day. I have not seen that flavor yet. Uh, I just went to Publix today, like a few hours ago, and I didn't see it. I was looking for it. I am the OB says loud and clear. Good. My brand Brownie's in the house. What's up, dude? How's it going? Cheers, guys. What happened to our music? Heartburn. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see. Let's catch up with the chat. Crispy Critters had the Kaiser Mini Roach and Off Grid Scorpion Bike Out version two. EDC Knife and Tool had the CRKT SPEC. I remember seeing that name, but. I can't think of how it looks right now. Ian had the Sangre, the Bear, Big Idea Design, Dual Side Click, side, uh, Small Fry with like $150 in REs on it. Nice. <laughs> Gro Grokusama. Gro I love you, even Ian. He's always, uh, Correcting everybody's uh, pronunciations. Isn't Bronny the best OB? He helps us all. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll do hooked on phonics like I do for X. Yep. Yeah, guys, I got a package uh, from the man or the caveman style. I think that's what they're called. They, uh, they hit me up and I uh, accepted an offer to take in some of the knives. They do a lot of uh, cookware knives, uh, manly style cookware. So I do, <laughs> I needed to upgrade my kitchenware. So yeah, might as well. I'll open that up in uh, here in a little bit. You see knife tool, small pocket everyday cleaver. You know, I carry a cleaver every once in a while. Uh, the 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 Kaiser. 
Ah, man, I'm tired. I have a brain fart right now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The Sheepdog, yeah. The Sheepdog Mini. Made me a sandwich and poured some bamboo rum. Nice. I'm not a big rum guy. I drink mostly whiskey, bourbon. So I actually went out uh, a few nights ago, right after work, and uh, went out to a bar. And I spent so much money on drinks. Like, I counted in my account, I looked up the statement. I went up there 26 times, and all 26 times I got the same drink, just Jack, a Jack Neat. And you know it's a cheap bottle, Jack, and they're probably like, what, $30, $30 a bottle that you can get at the liquor store? Yeah, $260. That's pretty much uh, how much I spent. Next time I go out, I got a pregame. No. I can't be doing that. That's, that's knife money right there. That's EDC money. Ocean EDC. Says Michael Burton. Okay. <laughs> How might not my EDM is in the house? I don't, man, I got you, man. I got you. I don't think uh, I ever caught you in the, I knew you were in the live stream at, at some point, but a lot of times I, <laughs> I wasn't in the right mindset to set my uh, moderators. So I got you now. All right, I'm gonna time out, Brandon. Yeah, time his ass out. Chris McGritter says, Everyday Minimalist, congrats on your milestone. Yeah, congratulations on reaching 500,000 subscribers. I'll get there someday. It'll take me uh, a few decades, but I'll get there. Ah. Let's see. That's 260 American too. Gulp, yeah. Uh, spent 260 on like a $30 whiskey. That's terrible, man. I, sh I should have pre-gamed. Like, no. And each one was like, what? Two, a couple ounces? So uh, that's 12, 26 ounces. Yeah. I had 26 ounces. What, what is that in milliliters? I know that's 26 shots, but ain't a bottle like 750 mil. Seven hundred fifty milliliters is in a bottle. How much is in a uh, 26 ounces? I'm sure Ian knows. I need a glass like yours, Bruce. I'm using a similar shaped glass. I got from whiskey nose sink kit. Nosing kit? Hmm. I mean, I love this glass. I have a few of these glasses and I got a, a smaller glass, like probably half a dish size. 26 shots, yeah. No, not, I didn't do 26 shots. It was like, I know it was 26 ounces. I added up all the uh, the times I went up to the, the bar to grab a drink and it added up to 26 ounces. Those are called 26 RRs in Canada. Yeah. One bad thing about this glass is you can't, if you have like a, a huge like whiskey stone, it's not gonna fit in here. Like I have some big balls some big some big whiskey balls uh, steel balls that you put in here but it, it won't fit in this glass it fits in the you know the bigger glass the balls don't fit okay I'm ambidextrous hooked on phonics worked for me I, I, I don't read good all right Oh, if uh, if y'all haven't seen it yet, I've been working on a little knife on my little nighttime adventures. A little, a little scalpel. Well, 
was my Discord. Made me a little scalpel knife. And that's too bright. I need to turn that brightness down. But yeah, made a little scalpel knife. Took me about a couple nights to make. I did a rough grind the first night and then I finished it out the second night. Just cause I had nothing, be uh, nothing better to do and I was just like, you know what? I haven't been in the, the garage in a minute. Let me, let me make something. <laughs> I have some big balls, he says, pause. We heard that, yep. <laughs> Y'all caught me in uh, 4K, actually 1080. Y'all caught me in 1080. Again, I love the dimples on the, the texture choice. Yeah, uh, so I made these little dimples because uh, I wasn't too happy with the way that the, the blade came out, uh, the overall knife. Uh, so I just wanted to try out some uh, texturing on the, the knife itself. So I got the little Dremel out and uh, made some little Dremel, some little rock grinds. And I do like the way that the rock grinds came out on the sides down here and on the spine of the knife up here. Gives it a little bit of texture for, you know, just, just a little bit added grip for when you use it. Let's see. I'm not mad, a resident mathematician, but I'll see what Google says. Again, love those dimples on the text. Yeah, I read that. Things looking dope, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Ian says 750 mil equals 24 ounce. So Bruce drank a fifth at the bar. I drink a lot, guys. Like, I was barely, I barely had a buzz. Actually, I had a, actually, I had a good buzz. I'm not gonna lie. I had a good buzz at the bar. And I remember coming home because when I came home, I had to get ready for work, like straight. I just went straight from the bar to the house to get ready and went straight to work. And uh, I sent a video out in the group chat because I was, I was just gone. <laughs> yeah, fun times. No, I messed up, uh, Trevor. It wasn't 26 shots. It was 26 ounces. I counted up how many times I went to the bar and each time I had uh, a, a shot, okay, two ounces. So I added all those up and it was 26, uh, 26 ounces. 26 is my number. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna grab another bottle to drink and then I'm gonna open up this package. Let's see, I hate the uh, connotation of alcoholic, so I just limit the drinking to weekends. See, I don't drink a lot during the week. Uh, I'll have like a glass or two a night. Uh, on live is when you'll catch me drinking a lot more because, I mean, I'm sitting here talking, I get thirsty, take a sip. Oh, wait, I need to refill my glass. And yeah, it goes on and on. But uh, I have a very high tolerance to alcohol. I, I've been drinking for well over half my life. <laughs> All right, let me grab another bottle. I'll be right back. hear my pause music and background music at the same time 
I was just thinking about that because I, I heard it in the, the, the headphones. Let's see, the 750 millimeters are called 26ers in Canada, okay. Like our cases of a beer, they are called 2-4. Make it simple in Canada. Man, yeah, y'all dumb it down for real. I like that. You lost, bro, that means you came out the womb <laughs> with some Jameson and Henny. Yes, I drink a lot of Hennessy. I absolutely hate Hennessy now, uh, just because my palate has changed. Because I've been mostly drinking like whiskey for the past few years. So I have not touched Hennessy in a long time and and uh well not in a long time. I, I've had a few shots of it like at some parties here and there past few months and I just can't do it no more. That thing tastes like shit. Ugh. I mean the VSOP is okay. XO is better. But the, the regular Hennessy, the VS, man, you might as well take like a knife with serrated like edges and just, <laughs> uh, that looked bad. Pause music only, I believe. Okay, nice. EDC, keep it up, brother. I'm three years sober. Nice. What? Ugh. Just pause only with the guy vibing in the, uh, on the, on the bongos. Nice. You got this, homie. All right, so, I'll take the last week of this. And I picked out this bottle. It's from Redline Whiskey Company. It's a barrel pick of uh, a local bourbon society, Clarksville Bourbon Society. Uh, I'm, on, I'm in a group on Facebook uh, with uh, local bourbon people. And uh, the the makers of, or the founders of that group page or society, got this barrel pick, and I got to try this at the last little bourbon event that they had. And this thing is different. All right, this thing is finished in Amberana oak barrels. It has a very different finish aftertaste, and it's pretty good. Uh, might be good because it's different because I never had that kind of uh, finish before but it's good now if I can get it open do that again Bruce I I know what you're talking about man I am I, I'm getting caught in 4k this this live And this one's a little bit higher proof. It's a uh, 120 proof. And I think that's why I, you know, didn't get obliterated at the bar from drinking 26 ounces because I drink a lot of high proof whiskey. And yeah, like what, 40%, 80 proof doesn't really do much for me at all. It's like drinking a beer. My liquor manager at the grocery store I work at is gonna put a bottle of Eagle Rare aside when we get home. Nice, Eagle Rare is very good. I enjoy Eagle Rare. It's one of the better uh, lines of Buffalo Trace. Y'all hear that? Yo, my, my washer's going crazy right now. It's off balance. I don't know if y'all hear that. I'll let it go. He'll balance himself out. And Michael Burton, try some uh, milk stouts. You need them in your life. I'll drink to that. Yo, Ian, if you get like some good shit, some good liquor, hit me up. I'll buy some. Buy me a bottle. Yo, that thing's going nuts down there. They don't sell liquor at the grocery store in my area. Uh, whenever they get the good stuff, gets released, almost gets bought instantly, yeah. I can barely hear it. I uh, thought it was part of the music. Nah, yeah, if you hear a lot, uh, some banging, that's my washing machine. One of the suspension rods kind of broke and I kind of jerry-rigged it back together. I can buy a new one, uh, but 
it still works. I'll keep a lookout for some IMDOB. Yeah, it's loud, dude. <laughs> I got my Ozark trails today. Did you carry your Ozark trail or did you go win off and uh, buy an Ozark trail? I enjoy Elijah Craig with a lit Rocky Patel. Nice. I have like maybe three or four Rocky Patels in my collection. I'm not I'm not huge on Rocky Patel. I'm more of a uh, uh, Drew Estate, uh, Fuente. Uh, those two are my probably my big go-to brands. I also have like a lot of uh, Summer Mesa. Summer Mesa uh, or Dunbarton and Co. Um, they make the Summer Mesa, and th those are one of my go-to cigars as well. Drinking some bamboo rum myself. Nice. CPM's in the house. What are we drinking? I am drinking Redline Elements single barrel, non-chilled filter. Uh, brand new bottle I got here like a few weeks ago. Uh, it was a it was a store pick from Redline or from a, a Clarksville Bourbon Society. It was a store pick, and it's pretty good. I tried it and this is a fresh bottle so I get to try it again. I tried it once so I'm sure it's still good. I'm letting it open up a little bit. Brad, you're putting a fifth of bamboo in your uh, checked luggage for ATL? Brad, I think Brad's probably going to drive down there. It's only like a few hours away. I'm driving down there. I'm actually ride down there. Lilo Dallas multi pass. I like a good variety, but Woodford, Reserve, and Four Roses are my go to because I can get them pretty much anytime. Yeah, uh, I got the Woodford Reserve Double Oak. That's probably one of my favorite Woodford Reserves. And yeah, of course, Four Roses is good. And I just learned that you can use bourbon as a binder for barbecue. So if you like to smoke meat, you can uh, use whiskey. It has to be a higher proof whiskey, like what, 110, 120 proof. Uh, slather that onto your whiskey and then put your rub on there and it'll bind. I know, what was his name, Billy. Billy on TikTok, uh, I forgot his full, full uh, TikTok name, but yeah, he's a big uh, meat smoker. And he told me about that. If you do low proof whiskey, it'll tend to burn because of the high sugar content. Mm. Oh, that is so good, guys. And it has a really long finish. Well, yeah, you know, I already told you I pick you up at airport or oh, airport says uh, Brad. Okay. I mean, OB, check out Total Wine for the good stuff. There's a Total Wine in uh, my hometown, and they have it's a it's a big store. <laughs> they have pretty much everything. That's where I got uh, one of my stags. So gasoline is best. I love gasoline. Mm. Driving to Atlanta from Dallas as well. Okay, that's like uh, around a 12 hour drive, I think, 10, 11, 12 hour drive. I know from Nashville to Dallas is about 10 hours. Bruce is rooming with me and Ian and Ricky will be in the same hotel too. Shit, hell yeah, we, we about to party it up. I think, uh, I know there's some uh, some really good eating nearby. Everything's like within 15 minutes away from each other, so we're gonna get some good food. Maybe we should uh, talk about like renting a place out and just kick it with everybody. Like, have a little after party. That'll be uh, pretty lit. Cause one of the videos I do want to do is you know get a get some footage of just everybody just kicking it, have some fun, all the shenanigans. Cause there's gonna be a lot of shenanigans. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I like to play uh, play around now uh, a lot, guys. So this is gonna be fun, guys. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat so damn good. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love to eat. Mm.
All right, guys. Let's go ahead and open up this package uh, from the caveman style. I, I know I got to pick out the knife, but I forgot what I picked and it feels like there's two boxes in here, so I'm sure I only picked out one. So let's go ahead and see what it is. Let me get this view for y'all. Let me try to fix the, the image on here. It's too bright. Let's configure this brightness. All right, that should work, right? All right, so this is from the K-Man AEC. Let's use the little scalp boards it's made. Oh yeah, nice and sharp. All right, so here's one box. And here's another one, I guess. Huh. Yeah, guys, I was only told about one knife. I didn't not I didn't have any idea about two knives. I think just two knives. They look like they're the same knives. On the back, this is the Ultimo knife. Ultimo knife from the caveman style. And I do have a coupon code with them, so I'll give that to y'all here in a bit. I actually have it in the, the description, guys, so if you are interested in this type of knife or whatever, you can go check them out on my, uh, what's it called, uh, description. Oh, damn, this thing is huge. All right, I know it's a, it's a more of a kitchen knife, an outdoor rugged kitchen knife. Oh, wow. Jesus. Woo. Yeah, like I said, I needed to upgrade my kitchen knives. And yeah, here it is. <laughs> Yo, damn, what is this? I'm digging it though. I mean, it is a, a pretty, pretty rugged looking, you know, kitchen knife. Take this camping. It's not bad. So the, the spine is not chamfered at all. It's pretty much 90 degrees. So if you do use this out camping, you can use the spine of the knife to, you know, you know, for your, your fail rods. If you want to make some fire, that's what the, the, excuse me, that's what the 90 degrees is for. Gives you nice contact with the fail rod. So you can just scrape that material off and get some sparks. Alpha Prime CEDC says, oh shit, I legit have that same knife. <laughs> X says, that's what she said. What, what, what did I say? Did I say something bad? What? Let me fix this real quick. But yeah, this is the knife, guys. This is a good, rugged, outdoor kitchen knife. I mean, you can use it in the, the kitchen as well. It doesn't have to be outdoors. But, huh, I like it. It's not bad. Uh, I don't know what kind of material this scale is. Scales are non-removable. It's fine. But that's one package. Comes with a nice leather sheath. With uh, a button. You can, you know, get some retention on there so you don't Drop it. That's pretty cool. Let's look at the other one. I wonder if it's the same knife. If it is, maybe we'll give one away. Probably not this live though. Oh, so this one's a brown one. I think this one's wood. Yep, this one has the wood scales on here. So same knife with wood scales. Or 
Or maybe did I order one, but it was a two package deal. But yeah, this is a great little cleaver knife. Uh, you can, you know, cut up some barbecue, some ribs, some brisket. Hell yeah. I actually can't wait to use this knife for some barbecue. But yeah, those are what I got from the caveman style. Let's take a look at their website. Let me see if I can pull up Google. All right, are we up? Yeah, we're up. Let's see. The cave man style. All right, so this is their website. Pretty easy. I think I got, I think it was this one. Was it this one? Yeah, this is the knife, the Ultimo. They have a few different ones, the Serbian. The, the chopper, the rocking chopper. I think I might get that one next. They have a small utility knife as well. And they're all pretty affordable. I mean, 128, 59, 115, 79, 98. I think there's 10.95 steel as well. So you do have to take care of it. Make sure, you know, clean it off really well. Uh, dry it off. It's not like stainless steel. So this does rust fairly easily if you don't take care of it. So this is all that they have. High quality, let's see, is there any sharpness? Yeah, I can't wait to test this thing. Be wild, be adventurous, be free. 36,000 happy customers and counting? I can see that. I mean, so far it does look pretty nice. I do have a coupon code with them, so in the description it's like what, Blade, uh, Blade Brigade? So you can just use that if you want to, you know, uh, get some get some kitchen knives what the hell there you go let's catch up with the chat let's see I think I've seen that before says EDC pocket uh, EDC knife and tool let's see Michael Burton says fire bro sweet as hell yeah I mean they're both the same knives but you know two different takes on it the, the wood scales and the black I don't know what it is, composite. Maybe it's wood, I don't know. Total wicked barbecue knife, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna chop the shit out of some brisket. Some smoked butts. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be one of like a little small, like EDC uh, size knife, like maybe a maybe a three and a half four inch blade. But now this thing's full size. Let's see. We're about to see some searchers through here, boys. I don't think there's anything bad on there, right? Let's see, along with your Jaeger, Chavez, on Factor, yep, Ian, and a Hinder. You can't escape goat lately? My friend that is driving is bringing his 365 and uh, Glock 19X, nice. You plan to hit the range uh, sometime after day two, nice. Hmm. All right, guys, I got to take a quick bathroom break. So yeah, chill out for a little bit. Talk some with yourself, amongst yourselves.
All right, guys, I am back. <clears throat> Soothing acoustics coming in hot. I do love the bronze. What are you talking about, guys? Michael Burton says, got a dip. I'll see y'all another time. Hope everyone, everyone has a great rest of their week. All right, Michael, you have a good one. Thanks for joining us in the live. And I will get you your, your giveaway out here as soon as possible. I haven't had much time on my hands lately. I feel like I'm sitting on the edge of a pool at night with a Spanish jazz band. This is rising me whole music. Dang, Bruce is back. I got the, was it eleva elevator music? For my, uh, my, my pause music, my hold music. I might have like maybe another half a glass and I'll probably take my ass to bed because I gotta be at work pretty early. But yeah. Do y'all, hey, do y'all like uh, plan y'all's loadout for the next day? Like, or do y'all just wake up in the morning and just pick out a knife? Because for me, I usually pick it out the, the, the night prior. I'll have something set out. And sometimes they may, that might change in the morning, depending. Like, uh, depending on like, if I get like a change of schedule, if I get a text from work saying, hey, you gotta do this, 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 and this. No, ah, fuck, okay, I might wanna bring this knife instead. But most nights I do pre-plan my, my uh, EDC. I am the OB says, Ian Coates, uh, the only ones that would go would mostly sub $150 knives, uh, especially sub $75, they just sit. <laughs> All right, so I do have a, a, a decently large collection, of probably like 120-ish, 130-ish knives. And I probably only rotate maybe 15 to 20 of them. Uh, the rest just sit in my box. I have been like selling off a lot of my collection lately. Like if you are interested in pretty much any of my knives, I'll sell any of my knives nowadays. I am uh, gonna sell my uh, Warhound, my uh, Ultratech from Microtech Warhound, perfect condition. I only carried it maybe, maybe once, and there's no snail trails, no nothing. I never even cut anything with it. I don't think. I don't remember cutting anything with it. Also, I am willing to sell my Norseman. <laughs> it's only been in the ground like once. I pick it the day of, says EDC Knife and Tool. Nice. Sometimes I plan to load out, but usually I have them kind of ready. I keep bronze frag in my GBG pouch. Notorious AGP has a blackout or straight plain, uh, plain TI uh, titanium. I change between pouches. Mostly rocking my pair drop leather lately. Dude, I would too. That uh, that uh, that uh, pair drop is nice. I'm guilty of being the one and done. Uh, I don't have a lot of gear to pick through, like the pins, wallets, and stuff like that. I'm the kind of guy that if it works, I don't need to put anything else. Okay, so pretty much anything in my pouch stays in my pouch. I don't really switch out a lot of gear. Uh, lately, my pouch has been in my my uh, my saddlebag you know, on my bike, and it's just been sitting there uh, until I need it, because I've been riding pretty much every day. The weather's nice. I need new tires, but the weather's nice. I can't help it. Do you switch up the pouches though? Yeah, I tried to switch up the pouch, but lately it has been my notorious AGP pouch because it, it fits my larger gear. And I still have this one that I unboxed last week or the week prior that uh, I received. This was on the pre-order. I still haven't, you know, put any Ranger eyes on there. I haven't loaded it out or anything, which I need to do. I actually need more, uh, more Ranger eyes. So I can, you know, uh, fit out like different loadouts. Brad says he's about to cop another uh, pair drop. Nice. Like I don't have purple flashlight, green flashlight, yellow flashlight. Got yeah, one that works, and that's it. Hey, the only flashlights I really like is you know the black DLC uh, flashlights. 
or the regular silver ones. I don't really carry much colored flashlight. I don't think I have any colored flashlights. Now that I think about it. But I don't mind. I mean, flashlights, they're just flashlights. I'm not into those really extremely fancy flashlights. That's just another rabbit hole to fall in. It's very easy for me to fall into uh, another rabbit hole. So, I try not to do that because I, I need to save some money. I've been getting into a lot of Ranger Eyes lately. I'm super pumped for the uh, Yoshizaki. Nice. I haven't bought any rain, uh, Ranger Eyes as of late. Like I said, I need to I need to slow down on some stuff. <laughs> this has not been my year, guys. It's been a crazy year already, and not in a good way. How long have we been going? 47 minutes. I'm probably gonna cut it off here pretty soon. Take a, another sip of this, pour something else, chill out for a little bit, and. Go on my merry way and probably go to sleep. Maybe. I don't sleep. Who am I kidding? No one's into REs like Balin now. Yeah, Balin is fucking nuts with his REs. So is Ian. Y'all seen Ian's stacks collection? <sighs> Grab another bottle. Hold on, I'll let y'all enjoy y'all's pause music. The Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. This is a good one. It's a good one. Let's get pour a little bit of this, chill out for a little bit, and yeah. This one's only 90 proof, so it's not gonna put me on my ass. This is the only live where we like to hold music. I need to listen to what it is again because I totally forgot what it is. <laughs> I do need to buy another knife, guys. It's been... I haven't bought a knife all month, I think. Did I? Yeah, I don't think I bought a knife all month. The only thing I got is the those... The caveman style knives that I just got, which I'm gonna I'm gonna test out. I'm gonna make some brisket. I think next week. That sounds good. I'll make some brisket next week and I'll test it out then. That's not something I can really carry every day and you know test out as big as it is. So yeah, I think next week make some brisket and I might make a video on it or at least a short. So we'll see. You know, going from uh, that red line drink, that red line whiskey to this, this just tastes like water. Like, I don't taste it right now. Oh, I know uh, Ian likes his purple stuff. He likes his uh, purple pen, Ian. I think it's a Lunal. It's a bolt action. It's a Bastion. 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 You can find these off of Amazon. They're, they're fairly uh, fairly cheap. <clears throat> I'm near to have my knife depths uh, paid up. You gotta pay on Needham's Mini Malice on my, and my final Mordax payment and I'm debt free. 
Ian, I swear you've been uh, needing to pay, uh, need him back for well, quite a while now. But yeah, Ian, I know you like this. Amazon, man. They're not bad. I use it every once in a while. I don't have a lot of purple gear, so I don't really carry it much. I got my Turner e, uh, CNC Elvia today, and it was late. Have some nice shots tomorrow, nice. Have you seen the girl, uh, the Vibing Girls set from Castle Grayscale and Yoshizaki? No, I have not. <coughs> <coughs> I've been uh, out of the loop in EDC for like past couple weeks. It's been it's been a little nuts, driving me nuts at work. It's about to get even busier. So yeah. Bro, uh, it is, uh, guys, it is hot up here. It was like 80 degrees outside today in Clarksville. And I don't have my AC set on, excuse me, set on, so it's pretty stuffy in here. Had to make sure my humidor was working so my cigars are still good. Looks like it's still all right. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm gonna end it right here and chill out, hang out with the wife for a little bit, and I need to go annoy her. I need to go annoy my wife. It's 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 time. Cause uh, I don't know if y'all any of y'all are married or whatnot, or you know have long term uh, relationships, but you got annoy you got to annoy your significant other. It's it's routine. Just something you have to do. Shit, Brandon just posted another vid. Nice. Time to go watch another video. So yeah, y'all take it easy. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of y'all's night. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.